So this is how you're greeted when you first sign up for a Money Button account. Simple payment system. Really beautiful graphic design here. Good user experience, very simple to follow what you need to do. So obviously to sign up, you just need to add your name, your email address, and think up a fairly secure password because this is going to be able to unlock your money essentially. So you want it to be as secure as possible. So the first question we get asked is, is this your preferred currency? You can switch to any of your sort of local currencies, the main ones anyway. Um, and, and one of the first things that you need to get done is um, backing up your uh, sort of backing up the whole wallet itself. So what backing up your money looks like is copying down a series of 12 words. Now these are words that are chosen from a specific library so that they can be used to recreate your sort of your seed key pair, which then generates all of the keys that your wallet will, will create. So it's really important that you write all of those down on a piece of paper, pen and paper, and no screenshots, it says very clearly. And then it does this little checkup just to make sure that you, when you read it back from the piece of paper that you've just written into, that it's actually correct. So, so that you don't have to get past typos and things like that, it just lets you pick the words that it just gave you. So it's just to double check that you really did get it in the right order. And then your money's secure. So the first thing to do um, is usually to add some money to your balance. We'll, we'll skip it here, but uh, effectively what we're going to see next is the inside of a money button wallet. So this is what it looks like, your transactions on the right and your balance on the left with your uh, user ID there. So your user ID is going to be important when people ask you for it to sign up for certain services like Twitch, for example. Um, Basically, you can use this QR code to pay from any Bitcoin wallet. So make sure it's BSV that you're using, so the original Bitcoin. As you can see, the transaction arrives very quickly in the wallet. We want to get set up with a pay mail. So the reason I put money in the wallet first is because you do have to pay $1 for a pay mail. So that's what that looks like. So you just choose a name and you swipe and it's yours. Very, very simple process. So obviously some people have um, got the sort of basic names like John, Jane and that sort of thing. What they can do is, and I'll just demonstrate. So it's setting a default pay mail there. So now you can see the default is that username that I prefer. So what it looks like when you buy, you can buy as many of these pay mails as you want. So I'll just do a quick example of uh, what a profile page looks like. So there you go. So anyone can see who is associated with that particular pay mail. Um, so let's take a look here um, and do some, some very sought after name. Um, and we can swipe to buy that. Great, it worked. So now we're gonna set this pay mail to sell on the pay mail market. So we're gonna set a price and then boom, that's it. So you can see the little red price there. That's how much we're gonna sell the pay mail for. And anyone can now, when they try and get their own pay mail, if they try a username that you or an alias that you own, then the price rather than being $1 is whatever you've set the price as. That means that they don't have to contact you in any way, they can just buy it from you if you want to sell it. Simple. So that's how PayMail works with a Money Button account. And I highly recommend you get a Money Button account because that will open up the floodgates to this whole new world, paying small amounts here or there to post permanently to the Bitcoin blockchain um, or otherwise uh, conduct business with uh, an international array of professionals. It's amazing.